So as they say in photography, that is a wrap. We are done, done, done. I was a lot of retouch, a lot of amazing adventures. And uh, I have to say these four photo shoots, these four shoots, maybe 13, 14 pictures that I've gotten from this, I'm really, truly proud of. I feel really good about this work. They will be portfolio pieces of mine. They will hopefully stand the test of time so I could call these, you know, looking back at it, signature pieces in my career. And uh, I'm truly excited about having shared that whole process with you guys. Now, the process doesn't really end here. It truly starts here now that we've been through it. I so have to encourage you to go and try to shoot your own foreground elements and try to do the retouch with us together. I truly think if you want to shorten the gap, if you are in one place and you want to see the process that I have, merge the two together. Your aesthetic for the foreground, the light quality and all that stuff that I use for the background and you can really, I think, just jump forward truly, truly quick to a place where you really understand this process. So I can't encourage you enough to truly partake in this. Now, to encourage you to partake in this, it will be, you know, the RGG EDU Facebook groups, but we're also going to do this, um, I was about to call them simulcast, but we're going to do these online broadcasts where we get your pictures, give feedback, you know, talk about the process. I'm going to try to do those once a quarter. So four times a year, we'll get together online and we'll talk about what we've done, what we can do better and all that stuff uh, to try to inspire each other. So I'm really excited about that, that we get to continue this journey to create pictures together. So when it comes to inspiration, I get a lot of questions about that. What I often do is when I find a place is to ask myself, what goes on in that place? What would I have done if I were in that place 50 years ago, 100 years ago? What would I have done if I were forward today with my emotional state? Who am I standing there today? And through this process, you cannot start engaging in seeing pictures. So if you're thinking about what you want to put into these backgrounds, just think like that. I have started this process in some ways for you. Find who you want to put in a river. I mean, if you have a great sense of humor, put someone on an inner tube with an umbrella. I mean, it could be a lot of fun seeing that into my backgrounds floating along rather than someone that's all disheveled. That's where I was in a place now, you know, almost a year ago. So I think wherever you are today, use that part and then ask yourself what that could be applied as an event or an action or a person in these foregrounds. So start there, be inspired, engage with people. Now, I read quite a bit and I draw a lot of inspiration for that. So if you don't read, I would encourage you to start reading. Um, I will try to supply a reading list that RGG can pass around. And I will also encourage you to keep a journal. Um, I have kept one since I moved to the US almost 20 years ago. And I have to say, it's extraordinary, both as a tool to just relieve your thoughts a bit, but also when you start writing, ideas come and you put a reflection of yourself on those pages and to draw from what you've written and put that into pictures is also an extraordinary way to be inspired. So um, start there also with stories. I love the written word. So if you read fiction, just think pictures. As you read, you automatically create pictures in your mind of what that scene that you read about would look like and put that into pictures. It's a really extraordinary way to just pull a scene that you create in your mind by reading something. And it's a step removed from, you know, seeing some picture that you like and try to do the same. Use pictures as inspiration for light, for people and all that stuff. So you have a visual reference, but then apply yourself to it and make those pictures your own. So that will be my parting words. I have to say also that I'm both grateful and honored that you would be a part of this process, finding it good enough for you to learn from in some way. So I'm humbled and I'm honored and I just want to say thank you.